Hey guys, got a request to show you my trap line. Um, I'm just at one of the properties now. I got more properties. This is going to be one of the shorter ones just to keep the video short. Let's go. right here on the right, empty. set there. But deer season just got over so there's a lot of gut piles so I'm not sure if I'll get anything today until we get a little bit more snow cover up them gut piles then they'll probably start coming into my baits. Got a dog proof there. Weasel box there, nothing in it. I got fox set there. You see the catch circle I got one last week. It's been a little slow this week. Like I said, because of deer hunting. Got another coyote set there. Got another one here. That's a coyote set. Weasel box here, nothing in it. Got a DP there, nothing in it. Like I said, it's been a little slow. Check most of this property on the four wheeler. Oh, and we got us a fucking fisher again. God damn it. Well, we'll roll up to him. I'll have to run back and grab my catch pole because I didn't bring it with, but we'll have to release him. He's a nice big one. Yeah, he's a monster. Look at that beauty. Let's just uh, let's go down to the creek here quick. I have a coon set down here. And yeah, it's right down there. That's the only part of the creek that's open right now, so I haven't got nothing there. Yeah, another fisher. Second one this year. Not even trying. That's even a bigger one than the first one I got. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and I'll grab the catch pole, re release them. All right, guys, ran back, got the catch pole. We're gonna release this fisher here. He's a big bastard too. Nice big one. Come on. Well, of course a mess. What the 
hell he's doing. He's flipping on me. Apparently he's a little faster than I am. There he goes. Let him go on across that tree limb. There he goes. Well, we'll go ahead and redo this set and uh, continue the video for you guys. All right guys, set's remade. We're uh, gonna head back out on the line. Here's a 2005 Honda Rincon. It's gonna be good when the snow really flies. First year I haven't got a fisher tag and I've already caught two of them out here. If you guys have seen any of my other videos. Yeah, this is my shorter line, so I hope I got enough camera time. There's another set there, that's a coyote set. That's one of the ones I caught the 10-year-old kid in when he was out deer hunting. There's another one there. Got the fisher there and a couple gray fox. Get my camera adjusted there. I have another one here, pulled a lot of animals off of this corner one here. That looks like a coyote had stepped there near the pan but not in it. Weasel box and nothing in it. My right, windshield's coming loose here. There. Here I'll have another weasel box around this corner. And nothing in that. Trip still good. On the right down after this culvert, they got a blind set. Right down there, nothing in it. Used to run this creek this creek here for a lot of coon. But it's all it's damn near froze completely down to the bottom now, so I pulled those. Here, fox set. Nothing there. I like to get these crossroads. They like the fox and coyote are lazy. They like to run the roads. This is just a trail at the place I'm trapping at. They got trails all the way through their woods, creeks all over. Here on the 
right here, got another weasel box. I just kind of set weasel boxes almost every day as I come out, but nothing in that one. another weasel box. I got too many traps out here yet. I'm still setting nothing in that. That's where I got the coon a couple days ago. Nothing in there. Another weasel box. Empty. Weasel box and nothing. Weasel box there, nothing in it. You want to make sure when you're running your trap line that you make sure you can see where your trap is just in case something pulled out. Or any of that stuff. You don't want to have a animal running around with a fucking trap on its leg. That will really piss the fucking antis off. So make sure you can see your trap or know that it's you can see where the set was. Especially in the winter if it snows. Got a set there. Caught a coon there, nothing in that. Something was digging the fuck out of right there. Yeah, something's been digging back there. Got a, I'm guessing it's a fucking badger. Not cocksuckers. Can't kill them here in Wisconsin either, but. Mean fuckers. And uh, after this next check, we're gonna head back the way we came, and then I'll turn the camera back on when we get to the last couple's of checks. Let's see, doesn't look like anything here. And I got a gray fox set there, nothing. So I'll go ahead and whip this bitch around. And I'll turn the camera on when I get to the next traps. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, just past that fox set on that corner I was talking about earlier. Coming up to the last three traps. These ones, they were real lucky earlier, but they haven't got no hits here in a little bit. Probably tomorrow or the next day, I'm gonna rebait them. I need to do some rebaiting. I got dog proof there, and I got a got three fucking skunks down in there off a chop. We go bow shooting in the fucking summer. Chop up the carp into chunks, and I fucking put them all in my freezer. And uh, use that. I mean, we get a lot of fucking hits off that nasty ass carp. Uh, weasel box there. Nothing. Oh, well, that's the end of uh, this short line. I'm going to move on to the next line. I ain't got enough card space, so I'm not going to tape that one. But uh, if you guys like it, I'll tape my other ones at a later date for you.